Okay. So, Shoji Hamada was one of the contemporary masters of the craft of ceramics. His work is considered the epitome of classic Japanese pottery, and he was designated a living national treasure in Japan. He changed and inspired the ceramic scene and art scene both in Japan and throughout the rest of the globe. Hamada was born in Kawasaki, Japan in 1894. He did well in school and he attended Hibiya High School, an elite school in Tokyo. He then studied ceramics at the Tokyo Institute of Technology, learning from Itaya Hazan and developing a passion for the art. Early in his life, he worked in studios in Tokyo and Kyoto and surrounding areas. Um, he met English potter Bernard Leach at a gallery exhibition in Tokyo, um, and he was deeply inspired by Leach's work, and the two artists quickly became very close friends. In 1920, uh, Hamada moved to England with Leach and set up a studio with a Japanese style kiln in St. Ives. He spent three years there and returned to Japan in 1923. After returning, Hamada set up his own studio in Mashiko, Japan, which was already a village with a lot of artisanal potters living and working there. This is where he lived and worked for the rest of his life. He built his own kiln there. Uh, and was dedicated to using only local materials from around Mashiko, including clay, pigments for his glazes, and the materials with which he handmade his brushes. He also used to his home to provide housing and studio space for potters from Japan and abroad who visited him in Mashiko. Hamada was a large figure in the Minge movement, a Japanese art movement that stressed the beauty of everyday objects. As Japan opened up to Western influence in the later 1800s, it quickly became industrialized and modernized, leading to people buying more cheap and mass-produced goods. Uh, the Minge movement, which translates to art of the people, was a response to industrialization. It publicized the importance of craftsmanship and artisans to Japan's culture. It helped more people find beauty in the utilitarian objects that they otherwise maybe would have overlooked or taken for granted. And it helped uh, more Japanese people take pride in the artist and the culture that existed in their country. Hamada was made a living national treasure by the Japanese government in 1955, and he was one of the first people in a craftsmanship field to receive this honor. He was also made the director of the Japanese Folk Art Museum in 1962 due to his extensive work within the Minge movement and with the other leaders of it. Uh, and in 1977, he opened part of his home to the public as a museum, which still does exist, exist today. Shoji Hamada passed away on January 5th of 1978 in Mashiko. His influence led Mashiko to become a world-renowned hub of pottery as well as a tourism destination, which it still is. Hamada was a true craftsman, totally dedicated to his art throughout his life. True to the Minge movement's values, he only made utilitarian pieces designed to be used every day by everyday people. He did not sign his work, preferring to let their simple beauty speak for itself, as opposed to relying on his name or on a brand. Hamada also felt that his work was the product of, the, of community and of the natural elements of his environment. This philosophy of the artist being a vessel through which art is created instead of the art's sole creator really resonated with me. And I enjoyed looking in depth at works which I might have otherwise felt were more simple than I was interested in. I think researching Hamada has allowed me to appreciate his work and ceramics as an art form in its entirety more than I have in the past. Uh, here are my sources. Thank you so much for listening. And to end, I did find um, a video of Hamada throwing a piece on the wheel. The video is a little long, so I'm only showing about half of it, but watching this whole process was really interesting. So if you want to go watch the whole video, I would definitely recommend doing that. And yeah, here it is.
This, this one is a hot water pot. Mm -hmm. Mr. Hamder will now show us the small spout for it. Normally, of course, as we saw last night, these attachments uh, can't be done immediately because the clay is very soft. But we'll probably show you the method. All right. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed.